Hey y'all, hey welcome, welcome back, back to Rooster's, Rooster's Recipe. So tonight I'm going to show y'all how to make my wife's favorite recipe. We are going to be making a delicious slow cooker cheeseburger soup. In my handy dandy crock pot. Oh, Popper made an appearance. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 So first you're going to cut up four small potatoes of your choice and then you're going to dump it in your crock pot. Next, you will have to chop up one whole onion. One small white onion will be perfect and then dump that in on top of your potatoes. Love the onion, giving it a little extra. Flavor Flav. All right, next you are going to need about a half a cup of celery. I think this is a little bit more, but you know. Who cares? We're making it how we want to. Next up, you're gonna add about a cup of shredded carrots. All right, then over top of all of your potatoes, veggies, all of that good stuff, you're going to add about a teaspoon each of parsley flakes and basil. So next up, you will need three cups of chicken broth. Pour that right over all of those yummy veggies. All right, so we got all our ingredients in, so now what? Now you're going to mix all of your ingredients together. Y'all, this is the easiest recipe of life, and it is so delicious. So now you're going to put your lid on it to cover it up. You're going to put it on high for four to five hours or until potatoes are tender. Yes. All right, so we'll be back in like four to five hours and let you know what you need to do next. It's really quick and easy, and you'll get to enjoy all of the deliciousness. Yummy. Yummy. All right, I just came in here to stir it up. Alex is taking a little cat nap. He has not been off work very long, but we are about to start cooking the ground beef. There's a couple of other ingredients you will need. All right, now that our ground beef is all browned and drained. Take your ground beef and dump it into your crock pot. Dump and go, baby. Except for this last part. Wipe out your pan. We're gonna get a little bit of flour and butter so we can thicken this up. Go ahead and add three tablespoons of butter to your pan. All right, so once your butter is about completely melted, you're gonna add in one fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. Thank you, my dear rooster. Mm -hmm. And you are going to whisk this up really good. Whisk it for about a minute or until it's golden brown. Then we'll add some milk to make our soup extra creamy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour the milk in and let it kind of melt all together. And I did forget to mention, you will need two cups of milk. This will be going into your crock pot with the rest of your ingredients. Ingredients. So once your mixture gets smooth, you want to add you some salt and pepper. Pepper? Pepper. All right, so Mr. Rooster is going to come over to the crock pot. You are going to take your ingredients and dump it into your crock pot. This is what makes it nice and creamy and we'll thicken it up a little bit. But we have one last ingredient that's even better. Can anybody guess what it is? Before we add this last ingredient, I'm gonna give it a little stir and then I'm gonna let Alex come over here and add it in. So now you're going to add two cups of shredded cheese shredded cheese oh yes now you just mix it all together and you're gonna want to let this cook for about another 30 minutes to let everything melt in there together and it will be completely done and ready to eat and i'm telling you this is like probably my favorite crock pot meal of life so please make it and let us know what you think. 
All right, it is all done and it looks just like I remember. I haven't made it since last fall, but I cannot wait to make me a bowl of this. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. It is a little bit late at night because we started this late. We are not gonna have a taste test for you today. Let me know if that's something you like. We are just super tired, but I will tell you, taste it for yourself. It's so delicious. You cannot go wrong with cheeseburger soup. If you enjoy this recipe, give us a thumbs up. Hit that little red subscribe button. Until next time, bye. bye.